kids, it's me, Teacher A. In this video, we're going to answer more exercises on circles. Okay, are you ready? Okay, let's start. This is learning task 4 of week 9 of your module. Okay, so number 1, you were given this equation of the circle. Okay, written in general form, and we're going to write this in its center radius form, or the standard form. So, let us recall the center radius form, or the standard form of the equation of the circle. Okay, diba ganito yun? Let me write, x minus h squared plus y minus k squared equals r squared, right? So, we're going to transform this equation to this form, okay? And if you recall, we have two ways. We can use the uh, formula, diba? All we have to do naman is to get the center, diba? It's hk and the radius, diba? If we're able to get the center and the radius, Ipa plug in lang natin dito, and then we have the standard form of the equation. Or, we can transform this by completing the square. Okay? So, siguro completing the square na lang ang gagamitin ko dito. How do we perform completing the square again? Let's group all the terms with x. It's like this. Okay? So, sana marunong na kayo nito because paulit-ulit natin siyang ginagawa. Right? Like that. Okay? And then, we transpose the constant to the other side of the equation. So, we have positive 64 here. Alright? And then, we try to make this perfect square trinomial. So, ano yung i-add ko dito? Again, you divide this by 2. 8 divided by 2, you get 4. And then, you square it. Get 16. Right? So, mag a ka rin ng 16 dito para equal pa rin sila. Alright? Okay, what about here? Negative 2. Right? So, negative 2 divided by 2, what do you get? Negative 1. If you square it, you will get positive 1. Kapag nag plus 1 dito, you need to add 1 here on the other side. Okay? Para ma-maintain ang equality. And then, we simplify. Okay? So, ito, masusulat natin siya in this way. Okay? So, it's x plus 4. Okay? So, bak, paano ko nakuha yung 4? Ito lang, kung anong sagot dito kapag dinivide ko ito by 2. Right? Okay. Plus, ano dito? Y? Okay, anong sagot dito kapag dinivide ko ito by 2? Negative 2 divided by 2, you get negative 1. And square. Okay? And then, you add this. What do you get? You will get, what? You'll get 81. Right? And that's it. This is the center radius form of the given general form of the equation. Okay? Ito yung sagot. Ito yung standard form. Okay, so this number is easy. Why? We're just going to get the center and the radius of the given equation. And of course, mas naging madali pa ang pagkuha ng radius at center kasi yung equation ng circle is written in standard form. Okay? Kasi remember, if we have a standard form, di ba ito yung standard form? x minus h squared plus y minus k squared equals r squared. Diba, kapag meron tayong ganito, we can easily get the center. Kasi ang center ay hk. And then the radius is r. Ah, sige, let's do this. We have x squared plus y squared equals 49. So, I think madali yung radius. It is 7. Right? Kapag wala kayo nakikita ang katabi ni x at saka ni y, ang center niya nasa origin. Okay? The coordinates of the origin... R, 0, 0. Okay? Kasi ito, ganito lang siya, o, oh, x minus 0 squared. Okay? 
plus y minus 0 squared equals 7 squared. Okay, so that's why the center lies at the origin. Alright? Okay. So, ito naman, madalina. Right? Ano yung sabi ko sa inyo? Kapag positive ang nakikita nyo dito, ang i-consider ninyo is the negative. Okay? Ganon din dito. Positive 8, you consider negative 8. That's the center. What about the radius? It's not 64, okay? It is the positive square root of 64, which is 8. Okay? So, ganun lang kadali ang number na ito. Okay, let's move on. So, itong number 3 naman, ang um, kabaligtaran niya yung number 2. Okay? Ito naman, given ang center and radius of a circle, isusulat daw natin ang standard form of the equation of the circle. Okay? So, madali lang din kasi um, ang kailangan lang natin i-recall is the standard form of the equation of the circle. So, paulit-ulit natin itong sinusulat, right? Okay? Ito lang. And then, isa substitute nyo lang. Ito yung H. This is your K. Tapos, ito naman yung R. Right? Okay? Sige nga, substitute natin. So, you have X minus 0. So, you have X, right? And then, you square it. So, you'll have X squared. Right? Tapos, Y minus 0. Okay? It's Y. Then, you square it. You will get Y squared. And then, you square the radius. Okay? 7 squared is 49. Okay? And this is the standard form of the equation of this given circle. Okay? With center at 0, 0 and radius 7. Right? Okay. Ganun din ang gagawin natin dito. Okay? Isa substitute lang natin ito. Ito yung H. Ito yung K. And this is going to be the value for the radius. Susundan lang natin ang standard form na ito. Alright? Okay. So, let's do it. X minus, okay, H. So, H is negative 4. So, let's write negative 4. Okay? And then, we square it. Okay? Plus Y minus K squared equals R squared. So, you have 5 squared. Okay? So, simplifying further, we'll have x um, minus a negative 4. It becomes plus 4. Yeah? Okay? Squared plus y minus 4 squared equals 25. This is the standard form of the equation of the circle with center at negative 4, 4, and radius 5. Okay, let's have the last item for this exercise, okay? Okay, so for the last number, we're going to graph the circle whose equation is given by this. x squared plus y squared minus 6x plus 4y minus 3 equal to 0. Again, to graph a circle, we need its center and the measure of its radius, right? So, if you have like this, a general form of the equation, you may want to write this or transform this to its standard form by completing the square, okay? Sige, so I will leave that as an exercise because for this number, I'm going to use the formula kasi I just need the center and the radius, so why not use the formula, okay? So, to get the center, let us recall um, the center has coordinates negative d over 2 and negative e over 2. Right? Okay, so d is the coefficient of x, okay? Including the sign, ha? Okay, e is the coefficient of y. So, therefore, the center is negative of d so negative of negative 6 divided by 2 okay and then the y coordinate negative e so 4 over 2 okay simplifying what do we get negative of negative 6 positive 6 divided by 2 
we have 3, right? Negative 4 divided by 2, you have negative 2. Okay? Okay. Now, what about the radius? The radius is equal to, this is the formula, the square root of d squared plus e squared minus 4 times f divided by 2. Okay? Now, let's substitute. D is negative 6, okay? Square it, plus E, that's 4, square it again, minus 4, times F, what is F here? Okay? Negative 3. Okay? And then divided by 2. Alright? Okay, so let's continue. What is negative 6 squared? 30. 6, okay? So, I I will write here, okay, 36. Ito, 36. Plus 16. So, let me write here 16, okay? Okay, negative 4 times negative 3, you have 12. So, let me write 12 here. And then, I'm just going to add them. So, what do we get? This is um, 12, 14, carry 1, okay, 64. Okay, so you have square root of 64 divided by 2. Okay? Oh, what is square root of 64? 8 divided by 2. So the radius is 4. Alright? So we now have the center and the radius. So we can easily graph the circle. Okay? Let's locate 3, negative 2. Where is that? 1, 2, 3. And then negative 2, 1, 2. So, this is the center. Alright? And then, ito yung 4. How do we graph circles? Um, count ka dito ng 4 sa kanan. Count ka dito ng 4 sa kaliwa. Count ka ng 4 sa taas. And then, count ka ng 4 sa baba. And then, you sketch a circle passing those 4 points. Okay? Okay. Or, you may use a compass. Okay? If you're going to use a compass, all you have to do is um, the center and one point lang on the circle. So, kunyari, count ka ng 4 sa kanan. So, ito, um, 1, 2, 3, 4. So, dito. Okay? And then, you create a circle using a compass. So, this is the graph of the circle whose equation is given by x squared plus y squared minus 6x plus 4y minus 3 equals 0. Again, I used formulas here. You may solve this also by completing the square. Okay? Alright, so I think that's it. I hope you learned something from this video. Please don't forget to like this video, share this video to your friends, and please subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. Thank you for watching. See you in my next video.